Hello and welcome to Community Talks, a program aimed at highlighting the works of the government at the level of the community and how it improves the lives of citizens. On this week's edition, we are speaking with residents of Owen Street Kitty, where works are ongoing to upgrade the roads, which were in a deplorable state for the past 20 years. The scope of work includes relocating pipe distribution network for the area, installing brand new connections to every home, demolishing existing concrete drains as well as bridges, building new drains and bridges, and constructing a brand new asphalt road, all at a cost of approximately 40 million. Lurlina Ramsendar is a resident of the village. She has lived here for the past 20 years and has seen the deterioration of the road and the struggle endured by residents. You are saying that you are happy that the government is really working very fast. This is an action government, won't you say? Yes, of course. I, I must say that um, it is action because this is long overdue because government go and government come and nothing was, was being done here at, on, on Owen Street. But I'm very happy and thank God that they're looking at us now because we're Guyanese and, and we need to be pro properly taken care of with our roads because we have to use this every day. According to Zaire Khan, the contractor for XL Engineering, the company executing the works, the project, will see the widening of the existing road from 11 feet to 13 feet. It will also feature concrete drains and other modern touches. The works are almost 90% complete. So we are now sitting and having our conversation with the Khan's family and um, the senior, or we would say the patriarch of the Khan family will now talk to us. Yes, Mr. Khan, tell me, um, how are you feeling uh, regarding the development work that is actually ongoing here in front of your gate? Well, first of all, we thank God Almighty, Allah, for this project because it has been a long time. Since 1994, this road was fixed under the previous PPP government. And after the passage of so many years, it went back bad. And now, we are very thankful to the government for giving us such a good initiative. We are thankful for the drainage especially because we have never seen a concrete drain in this area and we are extremely, extremely thankful for it. I have never in my 64 years of life seen a government in this country performing so good, so well. And I hope, I pray, I ask God Almighty for them to continue this way. Tell me, what was life like uh, for you after the first construction of the road had deteriorated? What, was the chal what, was, what were some of the challenges that you would have experienced? Well, the road was very bad, and um, drainage was a part of the problem. Now, before elections, some guys came in the street here, and they were asking about what we, we could do for you when the new government get in. So I told, I told them that, they look, it doesn't make sense fixing the street and leaving the drain. So if you could get the drain, that is the best thing out. Because the street, even though it was bad, they got some guys who that drink. It's a problem all over the country. They drink and they drive and they care less about other people's lives. And we are happy that the road is fixed now, but we are also asking for some humps on these roads. Prabodial Satan too expressed his delight with the road as he reflect on what residents have endured for over 20 years as the road became impassable. I was living in this community for about 18 years. I moved out. But this suffering in 1994, when the government won the election, they did this road. It deteriorated. The city council come and crack up the road, just a little piece, and it was left like that, and it deteriorated more. 
this road was impossible. We have been talking to you from Owen Street, Kitty, and we are now moving along to Hunter Street, Alexander Village. Minister of Public Works, Honorable Bishop Juan Edgel, has commissioned the 99 million three-lane Hunter Street. The road was reopened to traffic and is expected to ease congestion along the East Bank Demerara Corridor. During peak morning hours, Hunter Street will facilitate two lanes of traffic heading to the capital, while the afternoon hours will allow two lanes of traffic heading to the East Bank. Minister Agile said the intervention of the PPP's administration have brought important variations to the project, including the construction of culverts and the widening of the roads. Concrete drains along the roadway are expected to be covered and a section of vegetation between the walkway and the road would be maintained. Residents have welcomed this improvement and shared how difficult it was traversing the area in the past. Andre, as a young businessman, talk to me about what the road expansion would do for your business. Well, um, since the road has been expanded, um, my, I, I saw a lot of passerbyers stopping by, taking a drink, you know. So it's been, it's been doing great for my business so far. Businesswoman and resident Kelisha Pierce is seeing an increase in business since the completion of the road. For her, life has definitely improved. It has been a great improvement. Actually, it has built the customer traffic to the store and then it gave the store a great facelift as well as the community. Um, I'm very grateful for this improvement. Um, it's allowing more customers to flow into us and reach us very easily and then it allows for a great flow of traffic. So I'm very pleased. These projects at the community level have had a big impact, significantly improving the lives of residents. If you are desirous of having a project in your community featured, then contact the Department of Public Information today. Call 226-6715 for more information.